And welcome to the locker room, the SEC edition, where we're going to be talking about the Auburn Tigers and their 2013 schedule. We are your hosts, Kyle Anderson. B. Jones in the locker room. Matt Hirsch right here in the locker room. And the locker room is brought to you by RammerJammer.com. Make sure you go find out what's going on and where the beer is being sold and what items you can buy online. Guys, we already talked about Alabama. Now we're going to talk about the other st- team in the state of Alabama, Auburn. Oh, I thought you were about to say South Alabama. No. Oh. <laughs> API. Now, the... <laughs> Bama the, Poly. This is going to be... This is a new season for Auburn. The last year, like we said, 3-9. and nine, Didn't win a game in the SEC. Gene Chizik let go. Now they have brought Gus Malzahn back. He's now the head coach. Now we're going to start seeing some... The schedule gets a little bit tougher than last year. Um, first game, they start off at home mm-hmm. against Washington State. This is the thing. How do we see this game kind of unfolding? This is the first game under Gus Malzahn as head coach, but Washington State is not a pushover. Basketball season starts early on the plane. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that it's going to be bad. I'm just saying score-wise, it's going to look like a basketball score. Yes. The problem is Auburn hasn't stopped anyone since Tommy Tuberville, you know, roamed the sidelines. Well, Washington State, they can't stop anyone either. Washington State got Mike Leach. The offense is always high-powered. Mike Leach hadn't stopped anybody since Craig James' son. No. And it took a closet and a, you know, migraine and concussion to do that. So unless they're going to have closets on the field – I mean, Auburn's going to win this game. Uh, see, I don't know. I think the game could go either way. I, 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 I think it could go either way, but I, I, I want to put my faith in Auburn. Uh, I think but, whoever scores last wins. Well, but it's, 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 it's well. The only reason I'm going to say that I'm going to go with Auburn is because, number one, Auburn is very tough to beat at home. And the last time they lost a, a, a major, not like a non-conference game at home, was 2007. Yeah, but you ain't haven't played it, right? I, I, I mean, that's true. <laughs> they have played, you know, they played Clemson, they played a couple, but like you said, they haven't really. And after sitting here talking through it with y'all, you know, I might lean towards Auburn just because they might play a little bit better defense than Washington State. I'm not going to say they're going to play a lot of defense, but they're an SEC team that will play a, a little defense, not a stifling defense. But more defense. Than... Maybe maybe the, the knife isn't all that hot going through the butter. Right. Yeah. <laughs> now, the, <laughs> now, the next game, which a lot of people will think it's interesting because Arkansas State will come play Auburn. They've played them before. But this is the team that Gus Malzahn left to come back to Auburn. Is this one going to be getting a lot of press? Or is this one of these ones like, okay, look, yeah, he's playing his former team, but Auburn should manhandle them. Arkansas State won the Sun Belt last year, right? I they think they, did. they won the Sun Belt. I think they returned like 18 or 17 stars. Speaking of that, you want to talk about a group of kids that I feel sorry for. Or those eight, Arkansas 17, 18 starters yeah, that yeah. Arkansas State's got. Twice. Back. Twice. First, Hugh Freeze leaves, and then you get Malzahn, and then he leaves. And he takes the offensive coordinator with him. Yeah. So, I mean, it's ridiculous. For that reason, I like Auburn. Just because you have a new offensive coordinator coming in from Texas, um, installing a new offense. But I tell you, this game is going to be a little bit too close to comfort. Just because those kids that played for Malzahn, they're going to come with, you know, they're going to have it. It's going to be burning down in their spirits. And I'm sorry, Auburn isn't there yet. So it's going to be a close game. I mean, the Sun Belt's the great SEC killer these days. We've talked about that in the past show. Uh, so, I think it'll be a good game. I think Auburn will win. I think it will look eerily similar to last year's Louisiana Row. Louisiana Game they should have lost. Let's put it honest. They right. should have lost a lot more. Right. Now, the next game. Auburn this, people don't hate us. Please don't well, hate and, us. We're, and, yeah. we're trying to analyze this as, as best we can, and uh, a better Auburn is better for the SEC. Now, the next game, you got Auburn and Mississippi State. They're playing down in Jordan-Hare. Now, last year, that's what was kind of a little iffy. Now, Auburn, as we all know, didn't have all their ducks in a row. But it was funny because Mississippi State really didn't blow them out. It's like Mississippi State needed Auburn to screw up so much that they could win. Now, Mississippi State's coming to Auburn where they haven't beaten Auburn since 07. 
in Auburn. I don't think it's going to happen this year. I think this I don't is, either. This is going to be Gus Malzahn's, this is Gus Malzahn's moment. moment where he's going to really cement the fact that he is the Auburn coach. He's won an SEC game, something they didn't do last year, and this could easily be the beginning of the end for Dan Mullen. Monkey comes off the back right here. Now the next game, this one uh, used to be the big one that everybody circled. Now it's kind of become the one where over the last couple of years, with the exception of Cam Newton, it's really become one where. See, okay, I don't know. This, this is, is a fun game. It's always close. Now, now last year this, what? Last year it was, but well, I think how much of that was because LSU really thought they had this game walking well, in. Even when Auburn had Cam Newton, it was still a close game. Other than that one really great run that Cam Newton really won the Heisman Trophy with. Yeah, but right. the years sandwiched between that, they were it was awful. Now it was scary. Now go. They go down to Baton Rouge, which. Any fan will tell you Baton Rouge, Death Valley, it, if especially if it's a night game, you know, hand your prayers to God because your ass is going to belong to LSU, Auburn. I'm sorry, but and here's the other in, little interesting tidbit: since 1999, LSU is six and one against Auburn in Baton Rouge. I mean, that, and you're taking a first year coach down there. You don't know how the offense is going to respond. Probably you don't even know how the defense is going to respond. Yeah, mm-hmm. but for I mean. This is this is the thing about it. Last year, LSU Auburn, you know how close that game was, right? Well, if you look at it statistically, you never thought Auburn had a chance. Even watching that game, LSU had over I think almost four hundred yards of total offense. I think Auburn had a little bit un, under you know one hundred and twenty. That game it was close, but it went never really close. Well, I don't don't be surprised if it looks exactly the same way. It this might year. because Les Miles is going to play conservative. Just as he did last year. This will be a game for the kickers to shine. Yes. It always is. It it usually is. But I tell you what. Shine or or do terribly. It also has the ability for Auburn to hit the pavement pretty hard and turn into one of those ass whippings we saw two years ago in Baton Rouge. But I tell you, the LSU's defense versus a young Auburn offense, I think will be the – what. Steals the show and or, or wraps up the game at least. I'll take Chavis's one. defense. I'll take Chavis's defense. Now the next game, Auburn comes back home. They get the Ole Miss Rebels. Last year, this was really one of those games that did go back and forth. But Ole Miss just—I mean, th- this is where you really saw the Ole Miss start well, to click. This is going to be an interesting game because it's the last two coaches of Arkansas State. Basically, yep. um, I-, I think Ole Miss is just going to probably. Where Auburn is. Oh Miss. Oh Miss. Hot it's hot it. Gosh almighty. Oh and the funny thing, this will be, if they do win, it'll be the first time in almost 10 years they've beaten Auburn in Auburn. That is an interesting fact. As good as Ole Miss has been and the talent they've had with Eli Manning and everybody else, you haven't won in Auburn since 2003. Well, well Eli Manning is the last one that won, yeah. that won there. But then the next quarterbacks, they've had some good ones. They've had some good talent, but they just... Couldn't put it together. Now, they'll get Western Carolina the following week. That'll be a good game for Auburn because it'll give them a chance to, kind of like with Alabama a and I think they'll get up big, great, you take your starters out, you put your backups in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, leak their wounds, get, yeah. get healthy again. Now, the next game, this is the one that really I am looking forward to. It is the first time that Auburn will ever go has ever been to Kyle Field. They go two to play Texas A&M, and Auburn has never beaten A&M. Ever. Yeah, you're just saying it because Kyle, you're just saying it because it's Kyle Field. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that. But no, I mean it's but and then you look at last year where Auburn was keeping it close in the, for the first couple of minutes of the first quarter, then it was turned into the Texas A and M show and it was embarrassing. That's because they had the ball. Because <laughs> once they gave the ball to Texas A and M, it was over. I mean this game was over quick. And it's probably the same way this uh, year. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think that with a young team, a young coaching staff, they are not going to be able to handle Kyle Field. Nope. Now, the next game, October 26th, they'll come home. Now, that's the same weekend that Alabama's going to be playing Tennessee. Auburn's going to get Florida Atlantic. The last time Florida Atlantic came into Jordan Air Stadium, Auburn won. But as Brandon has said before, a little too close for comfort. I don't know what's going to happen this season because Schnellenberger's not at Florida Atlantic. But that doesn't mean Florida Atlantic still doesn't have players. They've got some talent. Florida talent. 
Yeah. So I don't know how that one's really. I, I, I'm going to give it to Auburn because Auburn always plays tough at home. Yeah. So I give them the edge on that. Yeah, one. I like yeah, Auburn. I think that's a pretty, pretty yeah. easy one for Auburn. Now, the next two games, they're on the road. Uh, first game in November, they go to Fayetteville and they're going to play Arkansas. Now, they've already started hyping this game ever since SEC Media Days because of the head coach of, all, of Arkansas saying, you know, this fast-paced offense, it's, it's hurting players. Malzahn was like, well, y'all need to speed up and do all this. So they're starting to turn that into something. How much of that do you think will actually be a really close game, or do you think, no, it's the schedule gets to Auburn and they're going out to Arkansas where they don't really have a very good record? I actually like Auburn in this one. This might be a faux pas as far as – sports talk but I don't know if I have an opinion on this because I don't know I I don't think any of us knows because you know how good is Auburn really going to be up until this point and how good is Arkansas going to be up until this point we don't know this is going to be something that kind of really sets the tone for both teams because we we have no idea what to expect from either team especially Arkansas yeah but looking at it if I had to you know play it over I, I, I would have to lean Auburn. Yeah. See, but here's the thing. Arkansas has given Auburn so much trouble over the Little course of the past year. 20 years since yeah. Arkansas has been in the conference. If you And if you think about it, Arkansas really has been the thorn in Auburn's side. Especially Tommy Tuberville. Especially Auburn. Tommy Tuberville. Uh, now, the next game, they'll go to Neyland Stadium going to play Tennessee Volunteers. Now, uh, the, Another unknown. Right. Now, that actually has kind of been a little bit of a robbery, but... You know the thing with Auburn is Auburn seems to not be phased whenever they if they do have to travel to Knoxville. They just seem to have it figured out. It's like it doesn't really phase them. Maybe it's because they don't play them all the time, or maybe it's just it's Tennessee and they know they can beat them. This one, I agree, it's it's another unknown. I, I, just, yeah. I just don't know. And a lot of this also, folks, depends on what happens. Are you losing players throughout the season? Are you having it where your defense is struggling or your offense is struggling? Does Tennessee go on a rip and start winning a whole bunch of games and their only loss is this team or that team? Or Auburn goes on a winning streak? We don't well, really and know. And that's the thing. We're, we're sitting here looking at, at Auburn's October schedule. A lot of it hinges upon how they do in September. Yeah. Now, the next game, the oldest rivalry in the Deep South, they come back to Jordan here. Now, this is another one of those quirky things Georgia played in Auburn last year. They're going to come back and play again. It's one of those quirks where they're trying to work out the SEC schedules. Georgia is basically 7-3-1 and one at Auburn since 1992. That right there proves to me that home field advantage doesn't matter much. And if Georgia is as good as the coaches poll is saying they are, ranking them in the top ten, I don't know if this I don't know if it'll be as bad as it was last year where they shut Auburn out and it was embarrassing and you saw Mark Rick call off the dogs. I do have a feeling that Auburn will put up a fight, but I just have a feeling that Georgia's too much. It might not be last year bad, but it might be two thousand eleven bad. And it, both of them were equally as bad. He, he called off the dogs I, both. I'm almost willing to go out on a limb because this game with this one it you know how players have their Heisman games. We talked about how Cam Newton's Heisman moment was versus LSU yeah. and how Johnny Manziel's was versus Alabama. Aaron Murray could win the Heisman Trophy this game. Yep. And I don't think anybody would disagree with you on that. I mean, he is a, a, a very good quarterback. Or, or, or either Marshall or, or, or Gurley. Cause That's true. Two backs. Yeah. Right. And, I mean... I don't Georgia think they're going to be Heisman Rutgers. candidates by by any means. Just because but, they they have to split time. With each right, other. right. But they, without a doubt, make Aaron Murray a better quarterback. Yeah. Now Auburn will get the next week off, which gives them two weeks to prepare for Alabama. That's one of the reasons in the Alabama schedule why I was talking about that Auburn will put up a fight because the last time Auburn got two weeks to prepare for Alabama was in two thousand nine. Now, granted, Alabama ran a very vanilla offense and defense. They were saving everything because they wanted to they were waiting for Florida. But when Auburn jumped out to that lead and Alabama finally woke up, it was just a shootout the rest of the way. Do you guys see that happening or do you see it where no, it's just gonna be Alabama's gonna take control? 
from I, the get go. I, I think that Auburn may put up a quarter fight, but then after that, you're going to see bigger army, faster army, stronger army. Their will. That's it. I, I think Brandon was was just about reading my mind with that because, uh, as far as that particular game is concerned, you know, I think it'll be a close first half, but I think the third quarter is really going to be the the telling quarter yeah. for that one. So uh, I think Alabama will pull away pretty easily with that. Well, that right there wraps up the Auburn 2013 schedule. And remember, folks, this is just our opinion. We'll find out how the season shakes out, but you got three of the best trying to tell you what they think might happen. But no matter what, if you're an Auburn fan, you got a season to look forward to, and you know you're going to do better than last year. Absolutely. And like I said, a better Auburn is a better SEC. A better Auburn for a better tomorrow. That's what I want. <laughs> All right, coming up next, we're going to talk about the next SEC school. Make sure to come back. Brandon, Matt, and myself, we're getting deeper into the SEC. Now we're going to start figuring out who are the contenders and who are the pretenders. Bama Poly, API. Wow. <laughs>